recognize the gentleman from Oklahoma. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield two minutes to my very good friend, the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Bishop. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized. I thank the chairman. Mr. Speaker, with great power comes great responsibility. We entrust our Department of Justice, FBI, and intelligence community with great power to keep us safe. And yet, as long as these agencies have existed, they violated Americans' civil rights, everyday Americans. The security state believes itself to be above the Constitution and the laws passed by Congress. Or perhaps the belief is only tacit. It is aware only of power, not authority, power. The FBI spied on Frank Sinatra, John Lennon, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and Muhammad Ali because they were national security threats. Celebrities, but everyday Americans, as to their constitutional rights. The intelligence community abused power to spy on presidential candidates, a sitting president, and members of Congress and their staffs. The FBI continuously coordinated with social media companies to moderate social content, the public square. So contemptuous are they and out of touch when confronted with this just weeks ago, they said we were merely engaged in uh, engaging with our community partners. Leading up to the 2020 election, the FBI worked hand in hand with Twitter and Facebook to silence the Hunter Biden laptop story. Concealment from everyday Americans. They've continued to censor and silence criticism of COVID policies and vaccine mandates to the harm of everyday Americans. In 2013, the former director of the National Intelligence, James Clapper, lied to Congress about the NSA collecting data on millions of Americans, yet he's escaped a reckoning. The NSA spied on groups including Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International and other NGOs. FBI contractors conducted thousands of searches on NSA databases. The intelligence community spied on journalists and political opponents in clear violation of the First Amendment. That's not all just illegal. It's un-American, and it cannot continue. The government's massive surveillance apparatus is well documented, but there's still much more that we do not know. We owe it to the American people to reveal the rot within our federal government and cut it out so that it can no longer harm everyday Americans. Mr. Speaker, today we're putting the deep state on notice. We're coming for you on behalf of everyday Americans. I yield back.